What's going on you guys? Local John 1812 back with yet another food review Friday afternoon here guys and we're going to be uh, trying something here for lunch at Arby's. Uh, I've seen their sign says curly fries on a sandwich. Try the Arbinator. 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 Yeah. I guess it would be Arbinator. Yeah because it's Arby's. Yeah so I'm going to she said Arbinator. I'm going to go with Arbinator. Either way apparently this thing Anytime you hear the word nader in something, there's two things. You think of that one, uh, what was that one comedian calling someone tater all the time? Yeah. I forgot his name. But tater or tater salad, you know. Okay, that means. Ron White held the alcohol beverage in his hand. He always okay. say tater salad or tater. And then uh, also nader, you know, like terminator. So, it's got to be big, right? It's got to be big. Also, one quick thing, guys. Uh, I do have a new camera. Um, it's a, It's got a fisheye effect on it and all that. I'm kind of trying to see how that really does on the recording. Apparently, you can make it a little bit get off the wide angle and the fisheye effect. It's not as bad. It's an action camera, but I'm going to use it to vlog because out of nowhere, I may want to do something. I can go underneath water with this camera and all that. So, for right now, we're still using the same traditional just phone recording, but we are going to move to a camera. I just haven't got it set up yet. So let's get back to what we got to do, though, business at hand. Maybe we'll, get, we'll do an unboxing video. We'd have to do it with the phone camera. Oh, well, yeah. All right. But anyways, we're going to go in here and we're going to try. <laughs> let's stick to the plan. We're going to go in here and we're going to go uh, try this Arbinator sandwich. So here we go, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We are back. Uh, we have our food now. We got the uh, double... Arbinator. You can get a classic, which is just single, or you can get a, a double or a half pound, and that's how much meat you're getting on the sandwich. Uh, these Arbinators have roast beef, cheese sauce, horsey sauce, Arby sauce, curly fries, all on the same sandwich. And, and on their website, they say uh, basically it's the most Arby sandwich they've ever made. Um, I can tell you that my Sorry, guys. double Arbinator meal cost eight dollars and nine cents if you want the sandwich by itself it's five dollars and seventy nine cents if you want the half pound sandwich it's six dollars and seventy nine cents and if you want just the single it is four dollars and twenty nine cents that's just for the sandwiches so like I said for my half pound uh, Arbinator combo I got it for eight dollars and nine cents here's the sandwich itself I did take a picture of it you'll probably see that before this actual video footage but I'm going to actually try, try to get in position where, like, because whenever I was facing straight on at you, mm -hmm. you were, like, dark. But, but turn back on that flash. It didn't work too well either. You can probably, it'll this still is help. better. Okay. So here is the uh, sandwich itself. You can see that there is roast beef. There's the cheddar sauce, cheese there. There's the curly fries. And underneath, I think this is where they put all their sauces. A horsey and Arby's. Horsey and Arby sauce. It's a pretty good sandwich. The half pound would probably, this is a double, and it's, you know, pretty good size. So the half pound would probably be up a little bit taller. Um, but like also, I said, depending how big of a curly fry is in there. Right. So, I like all the ingredients they say that has in this sandwich. So, we know the price. We see what it looks like. But what does it taste like? Here we go. You couldn't even get your whole mouth around it. I couldn't get that curly fry. I tried to. That is good. I think they really did a good job there. Just what I'm, I'm going to tell you. Sorry for being messy. It's a messy sandwich. Everything tastes good on here. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I'm giving it a 10. The price is iffy on it, but I'm willing to pay this for this. And what separates this sandwich? The ingredients seem simple. I'm pretty sure there's been plenty of, plenty of you guys have probably took maybe Arby sauce on your roast beef and cheddar, right? Your single roast beef and cheddar. You probably threw some curly fries on it. But what you, some of y'all probably didn't do, maybe some have. Someone did it, that's why they thought of it. The horsey sauce. It gives this kind of a spicy tang to it. And that's what really makes it good, is the horsey sauce. So, 
So you pronounce that horsey like a horse? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll make sure I didn't say it wrong. Yeah, I think it's like a horseradish. It is. I think it is. And it's really good on the sandwich. Um, you know, make sure I get in a good light there to show you one more time the sandwich. But that white sauce, if we could find some, there it is. That white sauce down there, that's what really makes this sandwich good and makes it really good, makes it a perfect tin. So if you're out at Arby's and you haven't tried any of the Arbinators, Arbinators, or Arbinators, uh, definitely try it. And uh, at Local John's giving it a 10, guys. I'm giving it a solid 10. It's great. And um, I might try the half pound next time because maybe I'll eat this whole thing and I still probably won't be hungry, but maybe I would like the half pound. It'd be a little bit more fuller, you know. So, well, guys, like I said, I'm going to get the other camera going, but that's all I got for right now. Hopefully, I'll see you Sunday and maybe have the other camera. It'll be a fresh new one. But go out to Arby's. Try this Arby-nator. It's really good. 10 out of 10. Definitely must try, must buy. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you uh, Sunday.